Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another Amber Collection from Mattel figure to take a look at. A very interesting one, almost deceiving, as we have a Velociraptor here, and you can quite clearly see it's a Jurassic Park Velociraptor, and it also has, it's really hard to see because of the lights that I have shining on it and stuff, it's just glaring off the plastic, but you can see it's obviously, you know, one of the brown original JP Raptors, and you might be thinking, well, why is this something I should be reviewing? I've already reviewed this, but it's actually a new variant with a slightly altered color scheme. When it was coming out, I initially thought it was just a straight-up re-release of the original one, but it does actually have some difference, and that's kind of why I'm going to review it here today to let you guys see the differences between the original and the newest version. As far as the box art, it's your standard when it comes to Amber Collection box art, and here on the back you can again, as usual, see some information on the Velociraptor, as well as the title of the film that it starred in, and then of course Amber Collection right there. So, let's pop this open and take a look at the newest JP variant of the Velociraptor. So as usual, we have our little stand here now clear initially it was a yellow for the original raptors and obviously we've changed that due to the obvious similarities between the coloration of the base and urine and we also have again a little white stand that would a little peg i should say that sits in there and then here is our velociraptor who's in a very awkward position after i got it out but uh again if you're familiar with the original raptor you can probably, if I could get him to stand, like it really does not want to stand right now, you could probably see some similarities as far as the coloration goes, but some very obvious differences. There's a lot more on the camera almost fell. Boy, I'm having a rough time with this one. But there's a little bit of a lighter brown for the majority of the coloration of the body compared to the last version. And initially when I had realized that this was actually a slightly different paint variant than the original, I was like, well, you know, it's whatever. I'm probably going to skip over it. But then it started to make me think, you know, originally in the Jurassic Park film, there were three different velociraptors of this brownish color and they all looked pretty much the same but as far as these figures go like with the amber collection line i didn't want to just kind of rebuy the same figure a few times to create that trio so after some thinking i thought well you know it's actually kind of cool that mattel went ahead and released this raptor again looking very similar to the original one but slightly different so that it's kind of like we're building up that original trio of jurassic park raptors and yes, I know we've had about a billion Velociraptors already in the Amber Collection line, but I actually do like the fact that they re-released this with a slightly alternate paint scheme because now I can either just buy another of the original or another of this, and then I'll have the three Raptors, and uh, they will not look exactly the same, but slightly different. So that's kind of cool. If you're a fan of the Jurassic Park film, the original, that's definitely a pretty nice touch on the part of Mattel, and... I almost think I should bite my tongue for saying this, but if they found a way to create another one of these brownish raptors with an alternate paint scheme, again, slightly different, I don't know how they would do it, it would be pretty cool to have three different versions of it, because then you would have the original trio, and each one would look slightly different than the other, so they'd have their own individuality, but also still looking like they're part of the same pack from the original film. But at the same time, I don't want to give Mattel any ideas, because I'm not so sure that I really want to go through with another of these Velociraptors from them. I think at this point, until we get the female Velociraptor uh, from Jurassic Park 3, I think we're Velociraptored out. But anyway, let's go ahead, jump straight to a closer look at this figure right now. So it's pretty clear, I think, at this point that we have already reviewed the sculpt. The sculpt appears to be exactly the same, no difference between this and the previously released Amber Collection Velociraptors. And in fact, every raptor, I believe, should have this exact same sculpt, except for the last Jurassic Park 3 male Velociraptor did have an alternate sculpt, or at least as far as the head and kind of neck area goes. But... That just means we don't really need to go over the sculpt itself, just basically what's different on this one compared to the previous release, and again, that's the coloration, and I feel like the best possible way to show you the differences of color would be to bring in the original one and here display it with it. So you can really see, once the two are up here together, that there are some very strong differences between the two different variants of this Jurassic Park Velociraptor, like the tones are entirely different used on the newer one compared to the older one. Just looking at the head sculpt, obviously this one down here is the older one. It is so much darker overall, 
and the newer one has a much lighter, almost a yellowish brown for the majority of the face, where you don't see that at all on the older one. And even the coloration of the lower jaw is different here on the newer one compared to the older one. The older one had a darker coloration, like a almost a dark gray, whereas the newer one has more of like a tan, kind of like a khaki type of a color for the lower part of the jaw. You can also see how the older one had a lot more of a darkening around the eye, whereas the newer one does not really have that at all. Even the eyes themselves are slightly different. It appears as though they've almost used the same tone of color, but the actual pupil on the older one is a little bit further forward compared to the pupil on the newer one. And the differences do not stop there. As we move down the course of the body, you can see that they do share some sort of similarities as far as the dark brown used here on the back of the neck and the top of the head but even in that area the original one had a much darker brown compared to what we see on the newer one the newer one definitely has a dark brown on the top but it's not quite as dark as the older one and again we transition to that yellowish brown here on the newer one in the throat as we move down we don't have that at all on the older one just another shade of a very dark brown and then when we reach the underside of the raptor we have kind of like a gray again that same dark gray that we see on the lower jaw but the older one is much more of like a yellowish brown that runs the course of the underside so very very different as far as the coloration goes and we have pretty much if i can get the two of them here together uh we pretty much have the same style as far as the design and coloration goes, which there's not really too much of a design to a Jurassic Park Velociraptor, just mostly different tones of brown, but you can see how it like has a little bit of a darker tone right there in the upper part of the arm. Same deal for the older one, but then it transitions into a little bit of a lighter brown as we move down the arm. Same deal over here, you know, it maintains the majority of that darker coloration, but there's a slightly lighter shade. And same deal with the hands. We have the same coloration for the nails. We can say that. Nice black coloration for the nails on the older and newer ones. But again, the tones are very different. And once we move back here into the legs, you can continue to see how it's exactly the same as everywhere else, where we have the much darker tones for the legs of the older one, much lighter tones of color for the legs of the newer one. But the coloration looks super smooth and very nice and realistic on both the older and newer versions, I will say that. One area I can say I liked a lot better on the older one, though, is the feet. You can see the feet are very nicely dry brushed over top of the scoots running down the toes, and the coloration looks really smooth, whereas the newer one kind of almost has like mud, it looks like, here on the lower part of the feet. I guess that was just some dry brushing they did, I don't know but the scoots aren't quite as smooth as far as the actual dry brushing over top of them, so you can definitely see that the feet of the older one look a lot nicer than the feet of the newer one, or at least this foot specifically over here, as that tail drags in the backdrop there. But as we reach into the tail here, you can see that we have some very dark stripes on the tail of the older one, and although we do have stripes on the newer one, they're a lot more subtle, they're not near as dark, and don't show up quite as visibly and significantly as what we see on the older one. And that's definitely, man, these tails keep dragging on the backdrop. That's uh, quite a long tail they have there, but that's definitely a pretty significant difference. But same deal here for the other side again. I could just get like the tail between the legs so that they uh, almost look like they're piggybacking each other here. But you can see here again on the opposing side, the differences are very, very drastic on the coloration of both the newer and older ones and I really think it's great again that we've got two different versions now I will say the feet look way nicer on this side than what we just saw on the previous side of this newer one it doesn't look near as sloppy I don't know if maybe that coloration was just some sloppiness on the part of Mattel or not but it definitely looks nicer over here but again the coloration seems to be pretty much the same in the mouth and stuff yeah definitely very similar at the very least we have that nice reddish wash in the mouth of the newer one it wasn't quite as abundant on the older one i will say that and there appears to be more purple in the mouth of the older one whereas we mostly have pink on the newer one but still really cool to now have a second variant of that jurassic park style velociraptor now as far as the articulation goes it's exactly the same as the previous one again we have the articulated jaw which was actually a little stiff right there and then we have articulation in the head down here leading into the neck it can all swivel very nicely so we have a lot of articulation there allows for some really cool posability and some smooth uh, articulation in the head and neck area and then the arms which can come out away from the body but again forward and back we also have elbow and wrist areas right here for joints that articulate 
Then we have the hip articulation that also can move out away from the body a little bit. We have knee articulation right there. And then two areas as we move down the course of the leg into the ankle area, which can swivel all around. As well as actually before I even go too far away, we also have articulation in the sickle claw, which is really cool. And then we have articulation in the tail, which can also swivel and bend. And you know, you can position it wherever you would like. So the same articulation as we had in the older one is basically exactly what you find in the newer one. As far as a size goes, the size as well is exactly the same as the previous Amber Collection Raptors. So for a length, you're looking at about a foot, so 12 inches or about 30 and a half centimeters. And then for a height in the position that it's currently in, of course, you can alter that to wherever you would like. It's just shy of five inches or about 12 and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line in comparison to our Amber Collection Velociraptor. And you can see it's exactly the same sculpt, which means it's exactly the same size as all of the previous Amber Collection Raptors. And I feel like with these guys here in comparison, it's definitely quite obvious that that is the case. And for a second comparison and a wider shot of the two together, there is the original Jurassic Park Velociraptor Amber Collection figure with the newer one. Again, showing you that there is some drastic difference between the two. And even I, when I had initially ordered it, I didn't realize quite how different the two really were. It's a very obvious and distinguishable difference between the two different figures that again at the initially when I had seen this I was honestly going to pass it up because I thought it was just a re-release and then I had noticed that the tones were slightly different and I'm like well you know only slightly different I don't know if it's really enough to order it again but now having it here in hand I can see that there's actually a huge difference between the two and definitely enough that I should have purchased it straight away but I actually waited until Target had it for a little bit cheaper I think I got it for like 20 five bucks rather than paying the $30 usual price tag so at least saved a few bucks by waiting but definitely worth picking up especially if you're a fan of Jurassic Park Velociraptors these two look super super cool together so yet another of the many Amber Collection Velociraptor figures now in the books and I will say that this one is definitely another fun raptor from them something that initially I was not excited about at all and I'm still not that excited about it like it's cool but it's not anything that is like crazy it's not like a you know amber collection jurassic park 3 female raptor which i'm hoping we still get at some point which i'm sure we will considering mattel's track record with their amber collection velociraptors but i will say that i'm actually really psyched about this more so than i expected to be now seeing how different it is in comparison to the original one because now it kind of starts to build that trio of velociraptors from jurassic park and really creates a pretty cool display as far as having two raptors that obviously look to be from the same group they look very similar but slightly different as far as the coloration goes so it kind of adds a little difference to your figures without looking like you just purchased three of the same figures to create that kind of JP Velociraptor trio and you know switches it up a little bit makes them have their own individuality and I really really do quite like that of course the sculpt is beautiful I've been a big fan of the sculpt ever since we initially got it the only thing that's kind of a downside for it is the fact that the sculpt is actually Velociraptor blue but given the Jurassic Park Velociraptor paint scheme like they just kind of reused blue sculpt time and time again for the majority of the figures that they released when it comes to Amber Collection Velociraptors. Thankfully, they switched that up for the JP Raptor, but I feel like they should have switched it up, at least the head sculpt, for every single one of the Raptors they released. But that being said, again, it's a really nice, very highly detailed sculpt with some beautiful, vibrant detail throughout. And the paint job of this one is also really quite nice, aside from that one foot that kind of had some sloppy paint on it. It overall is a really, really nice and natural looking coloration for a dinosaur as well as super smooth transitions between the different tones of color and some very nice precise paintwork and in fact like just for the head area alone my older uh, amber collection raptor had a little sloppiness in the eyes you don't see that on this newer one the newer one has beautiful very nicely painted eyes which is a plus for this one and i think the tones of color are honestly a little more appealing for the newer one than they were on the older one so as a whole this is another really cool Amber Collection release, maybe not the most exciting one that we've had, and being that it's a Velociraptor, of course it's not the most exciting one that we've had, as we've had so many Raptors already, 
But, you know, it was a really cool release on the part of Mattel to kind of sneak out an alternate paint variant like this, and definitely something that I can recommend picking up if you are a fan of Jurassic Park and would like to own at least, you know, a few different versions of that kind of JP-style Velociraptor. So if you are interested, I will include a link in the description to where I purchased mine on Target.com. So make sure you check that link. Make sure you head on over there and buy yourself this really cool Velociraptor from the Amber Collection. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.